ഹലോ ഹായ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് എ ന്യൂ സെഷൻ റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ടോമോഗ്രാഫി ആൻഡ് വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിങ് ഫ്യൂ ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ടോമോഗ്രാഫി ഇൻ ദ അപ്കമിംഗ് ഫ്യൂ സെഷൻസ് ഓൾസോ ഫോളോഡ് ബൈ വിൽ ബി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് ദ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് എം ആർ ഐ ആൻഡ് ഐ എം വെരി ഗ്ലാഡ് ടു ഷെയർ വിത്ത് ഓൾ ദ വ്യൂസ് ദ മെനി ഓഫ് ദി വ്യൂസ് Uh, who are following my channel have qualified DHA from a trick exam and many of them are getting HCPC UK registration and I have done few of the videos related with HCPC registration and many have got HCPC registration and even many of them have qualified NHS interview so those who wish to join any of these groups can just whatsapp me my whatsapp number as well as my email address will be given in my description box shortly i'll be doing a video related with cmrt so if you are getting some sort of knowledge and if my videos are very useful for you please forget to subscribe share and among your friends colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i am uploading so patiently watch till the end and stay to let's begin part 1 tutoring of computer tomography so before moving on to the session uh, uh, i have done few of the videos related with computer tomography it is all about discussing about the some it has been not discussing about mcqs it is purely the classes related with generations of ct components of ct about ct number uh, all those things i have already prepared the videos i will be sharing the link of all those videos in my description box so it will be more clear if you are watching all those videos and if you are working out this mcqs it will be more clear so uh, first move on to that classes afterwards come and watch this uh, we uh, mcqs and try to answer it by your own so let's begin with few of the mcqs so the first question computer tomography invented by option a godfrey hospeed option b alan comark option c sir william conard rochin and option d is none of the above the answer is option a godfrey hospeed so let's see the explanation godfrey hospeed is a biomedical engineer contributed enormously towards the diagnosis of the neurological and other disorders by virtue of his invention of the computed axial tomography scan for which he was awarded the nobel prize in 1979 moving on to the next question question number 2 the first ct scanner was developed in the year option a 1905 option b 1943 option c 1972 and option D is 1986 so the answer is option C 1972 so let's see the explanation the first commercially available ct scanner was created by british engineer godfrey hospeed of emi laboratories in 1972 moving on to the next question question number 3 what is the meaning of emi in the emi ct scanner option a electric motion imaging option b electromagnetic induction option c electric musical instrumentation and option d is ec magnetic imaging the answer is option c electric musical instrumentation so let's see the explanation historically the name commonly used for computed tomography of the head the technique devised by hospeed who was a scientist at emi an english electronics firm moving on to the next question question number 4 ct scan uses tube option a l rotating anode tube option b stationary anode tube option c glassy tube and option d is none of the above the answer is option a 
rotating anode tube. So let's see the explanation. CT scanner uses a motorized X-ray source that rotates around the circular opening of a donut-shaped structure called the gantry. So the X-ray tube and the detector will be continuously rotating around the patient, and inside the X-ray, sorry, the CT tube, the anode is of rotating type. Moving on to the next question, question number 5. The anode heat storage capacity in multi-slice spiral CT is option A, 2 MHU. MHU means mega heat units. Next option is option B is uh, 4 MHU, option C 6 MHU and uh, option D is 8 MHU or more. The answer is option D, 8 MHU or more. So, let's see the explanation. As the scan time have decreased, as you all know, we are using spiral CT, continuous motion of the X-ray tube and the detector and a volume of images and immediately the scan is finishing. So, the anode heat capacity have increased by as much as the factor of 5 Preventing the need for cooling delays during most clinical procedure and the tube with capacities of 5 to 8 billion heat units are available. Moving on to the next question, question number 6. Pixel size is option A, FOV multiplied by matrix size. FOV means field of view. Option B is FOV divided by matrix size. Option C, FOV added by matrix size and option D is none of the above. The answer is option B, FOV divided by matrix size. Let's see the explanation. Two dimensional picture element that makes up a matrix. Each pixel represents a CT number and it is a building block of the matrix and image. Moving on to the next question, question number 7. Slice acquisition rate is option A. Slice is accurate per 360 degree divided by rotation time. Option B. Slice is accurate per 360 degree multiplied by rotation time. Option C. Slice is accurate per 360 degree added by rotation time. And option D is none of the above. The answer is option A. Slice is accurate per 360 degree divided by rotation time. So, the slices are accurate by continuous rotation. 360 degree means continuous rotation of the X-ray tube and the detector and the slices accurate divided by the rotation time. Gives the slice acquisition rate. Moving on to the next question, question number 8. Pitch is... Option A, couch movement each 360 degree divided by slice thickness. Couch movement each 360 degree multiplied by slice thickness. Option C, couch movement each 360 degree added by slice thickness. And option D is none of the above. The answer is option A, couch movement each 360 degree divided by the slice thickness. So, 360 degree the x-ray tube and the detector is moving. Along with that the table, table of the couch is moving divided by the slice thickness. For example, in the case of CT brain, we will usually give 5 mm thickness, slice thickness. Along with that the couch moment will also 5 mm. So, the table is moving uh, when the x-ray tube and the detector is moving and the slice thickness. So, it will, it will be giving the pitch. Next question, question number 9. Each square in an image matrix is known as option A, pixel, option B, voxel, option C, troxel and option D, square cell. The answer is option A, pixel. So, let's see the explanation. A CT image is composed of a square image matrix that ranges in size from 256 into 256 to 1024 into 1024 picture elements or pixels. Moving on to the next question, question number 10. 
Which of the following material is used to construct the patient couch? Option A plastic, option B fiber, option C aluminium and option D is cardboard. The answer is option B fiber. So let's see the explanation. The patient couch is typically made from carbon fiber to prevent it from interfering with the X-ray beam transmission. Hope you are clear with today's session. Uh, in the session, all of my slides are clear. So with that, I am coming to the uh, end of today's session. Uh, so patiently wait for next Sunday. Sunday is the day I used to upload new new videos. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for my next update. And one more request is that for all the viewers is that please patiently watch all the videos. And get back to me for any queries and I'll be responding to the best of my knowledge. So until then, bye-bye.